All right. So, last time we went down with Seven and Lotus, and then we found out that Seven was actually a cop at one point and had previously been to this ship and had encountered, we don't know if he saved or not, a lot of children who were also on this ship being held captive. So, that being said, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Uh, can I get to that one? Okay, let's see what's in here. I haven't been in here. What is this? Just barely see a mirror from the light coming through the ceiling. Which would be nice if that mirror was a little lower down. Looks like it's the same height as the mirror on the right. I wonder if that, I wonder what, if that means anything. So do I have to turn the mirror? Or move the mirror to where it shines on this mirror, maybe? I don't know. A similar puzzle with this mirror. There's nothing else here apart from the mirror. Maybe I just need to pair something with this mirror. Uh, even though not the towel is stupid. Wait, what? There's what? There's a mirror in the back of the room hung opposite this one. The only difference between them is whether or not they're reflecting any light. Okay. So... Confuzzled I am. No matter how to pull this dang thing won't budge. Guess it won't be opening in this time. Doesn't look like it's a keyhole. There doesn't seem to be anything stopping it. Break it. What's the deal with the light here? It's just this one beam of light. There's no way we, we can explore the rest of this room. Okay. Maybe I have to find something in a different room then. The tiles we found and the tiles here are the same size. When I touched the tiles on the floor, I felt something weird. I can move these tiles. And that means maybe you should. Maybe you swap the tiles. Maybe if you swap the tiles we got with the tiles on the wall, something will happen. I suppose now we just need to figure out what, what the strange designs on these tiles mean. Hmm. At any rate, we should look for all of the tiles that are the same size. You're right. Let's meet back here after we've done a thorough search. Okay. I thought of that. And tried a couple things, but yeah. Same result. Guess Seven wasn't about to do anything. Wasn't about to do anything now. Oh well. And I apologize for my reading. I am incredibly tired and I have work early in the morning. So... So confused. I'm confused. Wait, do I put the drawers back for some reason? No. Okay. I don't know why I'm carrying the drawers. Uh, I know this. I do not know what I'm 
I'm supposed to do. Why are these things sun and moon? something in there. And where? What? Oh, something was hung at the top. Wow. Let's open the drawer. Okay, so we've got two exactly the same. Exactly the same. Okay. Okay, so I don't need the drawer anymore. Fourteen equals E. Okay. I think I saw 14 in red somewhere else. Is it on something I'm carrying around with me? Yes it is. It's just right here. Relevant somehow. Well, no dip, Sherlock. It's a dirty toilet. 14 equals E. Okay. Um, 
still rooms that haven't been checked yet. I've checked! I can't get in the drawer. I'm so confuzzled. What can I get to jar that thing open? What happened to my screwdriver? Hmm. Too late, my head hurts. <sighs> Nothing else going on with the steps. Fourteen equals eight. Understand that I'm supposed to get the light to cover more of the room, but I do not know how. Starting to get frustrated. There's no way to move mirrors, no way to edit the light, there's no way to do anything else. So I had to try the string twice. Toilet. I'm too sleepy for this. I'm 
bruh. There's literally nothing else I can do. I have clicked everything. Okay, so put this one back in it, or else why else do I need it? Help me out here, game. Help me out. I'm a dumb. That does feel dang. to get agitated. I'm too tired for this. You can literally click nothing else. Thank you for the host, Murph.
I am so completely lost. This mirror to reflect the light. This is a drawer. What mirror? This is literally a drawer. A drawer without a handle. Why does it say this is a mirror? What? Been searching forever. Shine the light on this mirror, then I get to see some some numbers. I see a four on the left and a seven on the right. Four and seven. Four and seven. And then moon and sun and moon. So if if you're going by where they're placed, the sun would be four and the moon would be seven. Okay. And then apparently E equals 14. No, I had no idea how those were relevant at the moment. Hmm. Hmm. 
Uh, this is 999. plot storyline. Okay, so nine people are drugged and kidnapped. Uh, they're placed in uh, separate areas along the a ship, um, all on the same floor at first, or along the same floor. Um, there are a few floors. Anyway, nine people kidnapped, taken to a ship, uh, locked on the ship. Uh, the ship starts flooding, um, so they have nine hours to get out of the ship and um, they can only go so far because of the flood and stuff like that and there are doors uh, that are numbered doors and things like that and then the nine people have little wristwatches uh, on their arms that can open the doors but basically um, to get through uh, the doors you have to use you know different forms of adding and subtracting and stuff like that so say you had to get through door number one okay so three people um, have to open the doors so if uh, three people have to use their wristwatch to open the doors so you have to add up until you get ten so say uh, one the person who has the number one uh, the person who has the number four and the person who has the number five all team up and they tag the, the door they open that door and they go in. They only have a certain amount of time to get to the other end where the, uh, another door is where they can uh, touch touch that and open it and then um, there's a timer that happens when you open the first door that if you don't get to the other door you explode. Um, and then if you go in or if you basically I think that's it. Like a uh, so in the very beginning, there's someone who you know tries to trick people or threaten people and stuff like that. And he gets in, and then he shuts the door, and he's all alone. But he can't open the other door because he doesn't have the numbers for that door. So when the timer goes off, when you open the first door, he died. People went in, so on and so forth. They got the gist. Someone's trying to kill them all. So we got to get out. The few of us that are left. And I am having the toughest time right now trying to figure this out because I'm super sleepy. Cause it's basically all kinds of puzzles and stuff like that to get through floors and things like that. Really elaborate stuff. Um, but it's just... Whew. I like it. It's really fun for me. Understanding this, do you like puzzle games? Did you just hear something? Ooh, do you like puzzle games? Sometimes uh, this one's pretty cool to me, just because um, it's trying to kill people. Uh, I do, but it doesn't look like anything's happening here. Huh? Wonder what that sound was. I'm gonna go to this room over here and see what happened. I'm probably gonna mess things up. So if it kills someone, you're interested. Maybe. It depends. I'm gonna keep pulling this one until I get it just like the other one. Keep pulling it. Hope I get it.
There's that sound again. It happens whenever I pull the string a couple, a couple of times. You hear something from the other room. The dark room. Hey! No idea why that worked, but hey, just pull in some strings. No, not the light! Not the light! Stop it! There's something in there. No? Okay. Totally won't flush when you pull on the string. But in mine. Is it the sink, maybe? Uh. Hey! I totally was needing a good flush, apparently. Uh, two more, or one more. And they're all the exact same. Oh, no, we did get two more. Okay. Okay. So, 14 equals E, so this is 4 for each E. Or 1 for each E. And all the roots. The only mystery left is that door. Alright, let's crack the mystery then. We've got four tiles. There are a bunch of tiles that are the same size on the wall here. So if we replace four of the tiles on the wall with the ones we've got, I should open the door. But there's only one way to find out. Uh, can I move you? Uh, I'm just gonna put you there, and you there, and you there, and you there. Hey, did you just hear something unlock? Does that mean we got it right? Where's the girl voice? Uh, I kind of try to give her something sometimes, but I'm really sleepy, so I might not. I might do it a little bit, but it's not really a girl voice. It's basically just my voice. Yes, it looks like we did. A 14 hidden on the tile. If you convert that hexadecimal, it's an E. Basically, the E's in emergency are the 14's from the tiles. So if we replace it, that gives us the answer. Do you really care why it worked? Let's just get out of here. I'm not giving no fucks right now. I'm too sleepy. Lego! Higher than your normal. Passed through the open door and bleh, headed to the next room. I'm so sleepy. I need to, I shouldn't have streamed this, but I'll go ahead and finish this up, and then that'll be be it for tonight, I think, because I've got work early in the morning. But Junpei jogged down the short staircase and looked around. Ooh, spoopy. The hell is this place? Words strung. The words had strung, unbiden to his lips. Sprung. It's not strung. I'm super tired. I'm so sorry. The words had sp sprung, unbidden to his lips, but it was clear why. Junpei shivered. Lotus and Seven reached the bottom of the stairs and stopped short, terrified. This room is really creepy. I think we ought to get the hell out of here, now. He jogged up the stairs to the opposite side of the room and shook the door on the wall to the ne next to the catwalk. It didn't open, and he muttered to himself. Figures. It's locked, isn't it? Yup. Don't know why I even thought it'd be any different. Junpei looked around the room again. In the center was a chair. A very spoopy chair. The back was covered with electrodes connected to a nest of wires. 
Beneath it was a strange glass panel. Junpei wasn't sure what, what it was for sure, but it made him uncomfortable. Electro tail! Whatever might have been beyond the glass, Junpei couldn't tell. It was too dark. Dun dun dun! So I won't get sick. What the heck? Junpei turned to look at the right side of the room. There was a table covered with a piece of cloth. Parts of the cloth were stained with something that looked suspiciously like blood. On top of the table were a number of, number of metal instruments. Torture chamber! Junpei didn't know what they were for. Torture chamber! And he had held feeling he had a feeling he didn't want to find out. Torture chamber! His mind began to imagine what could have taken place in that dark, cold room. The things he imagined were not pleasant. Torture chamber! Junpei shook his head in an attempt to clear it and tried to focus on something else. Other than torture chamber! Anyway, we don't want to stay here any longer than we got to. Let's figure out this puzzle and get the hell out of here. Come on. Dun dun dun. I'm sick, got a cough, dry throat, and sweats earlier. No biggie. Oh, wow. Alright, so that's going to be it for tonight. Um, no telling if this will be good enough for YouTube or not, but because we dropped a lot of frames, but hopefully it will be okay. So, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Thank you so much, Murph, for hosting and hanging out as well. Uh, but that's going to be it for this one tonight. I should not have started streaming. I typically stream this for about an hour, but we're cutting it cutting a little early tonight because uh, Sleepy Sleepy Jake has uh, work early in the morning. So, as always, remember to love from your core. Peace out.